I met Mark Golston some years ago at a conference we both were attending. I was new to the organization. Mark was a veteran. And at the end of the three hour session, he stood up, raised his hand and asked to say a few words. He was dressed in a black turtleneck and jeans tucked in with a belt. And he announced that he had hacked the mind of Steve Jobs and was doing a one man show to delve into that mind. Well, I thought that was a pretty bold statement and uncharacteristic of myself. Uh, I introduced myself after the, after the session. We became close friends and even sooner, he became a coach, uh, both on a personal level and a professional level. Professionally, as I was navigating the transaction of my company to exit and the emotional strains and the pressure related to that, Mark was a guide on the side for me. He was also the one who really coached many of my leadership team through the process and through their own emotions related to this. And he removed barriers for myself, for my team, and carved pathways for each of us to achieve the goals that we had laid out for ourselves and that we had the strength, inner strength, to do, uh, just needed to get out of our own way. He also helped me through relationship, both divorce and a new relationship with a new lifelong partner, setting the language and the tools and the guidelines to do a better job this time. And it's been remarkable bringing my partner to tears at times as he breaks through old stories that aren't serving her well and helping me to break through my own and us to meet each other in the sandbox, as we now call it, as our younger, more innocent selves to communicate through some of those tension points that otherwise compound over time and cause problems in a relationship. I am incredibly grateful for the friendship, the guidance, and the relationship I've had as both a mentee and a student and maybe a player of life as he's coached me both through business and personal. And and I can't say enough about Mark. He's, he's a magical person who has a, a, an even bizarre skill to see inside you and almost to reflect back almost as though you're sitting there listening to yourself. And it's just a, it's a crazy skill of, of empathy, of connection and understanding. And if there's one fault that Mark has is he's too generous. So if you have the opportunity to work with Mark, honor him, don't use him. And some of that honor comes in doing your best work and showing up uh, because you can be so much happier, so much better and so much more impactful with, uh, with Mark at your side. Love you, Mark.